slippery. Whoa, excuse me, please me, please. I'm up, oh, believe me, believe me. Believe hey, YouTube, it's your boy Monte, aka Willie Beast, aka your auntie right next door to me. Right to my left, I got Cal, aka Cal the Hippie. Look me up on SoundCloud too, Cal underscore the underscore. Fuck, I forget how I spell my shit, but it's H I P P Y or. I change it to an X instead of an I. Just look it up with the I first. Try both of those. Hey, yeah, boys, forget. Don't check me out. Check me out on uh, Pornhub, man. At Young Sausage, man. I do. I put in that work. I'm a porn star. This is on it. Let's get into this video, man. The name of this video is Top Five Facts About Dragon Ball Z Super. Without further ado, it's Super. Yeah, I think it's Super. Oh, see, I, I don't even really watch Dragon Ball Super. Yeah, yeah. I've watched the old ones, but it's been a minute. I said it might be Super, might not be. But let's get into this video. If oh. knowledge is what you're looking for, maybe we can save you a wish. Okay. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In today's installment, we'll be counting down the five most interesting facts about Dragon Ball Z and the Dragon Ball franchise. It's super. Before it's we super. begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for yeah. more great content. These facts can surprise even the most ardent Dragon Ball fans, provided they're not in their final forms. What's this? Are you okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing. Number five, the Japanese government. I ain't gonna lie, that movie was stupid as shit. I never saw it. But them girls would get fucked. That shit looks stupid as fuck. It's like, it's like a human version of Dragon Ball Z. Bro, it's like anything that's like anime or cartoon and they try to make that shit like... You can't do it. Even though I did fuck with Avatar, I fuck with Avatar to some extent. I didn't even see that movie either, but like, shit. I don't know. They probably left out a bunch of details and that shit. Yeah, you details, think? yeah. Details, wow. But. A Dragon Ball Z movie. Animation is popular worldwide, but in Japan, it's huge business. Are you pleased, Beerus? It seems their efforts have been quite successful. It's so big that their government spent money to support Dragon Ball by giving a grant to the film Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods, which wow. arguably ignited the franchise's comeback and led to a new series. The grant was for 50 million yen, or about $600,000, totaling about a tenth of... Hold up. Bro, we need to move the fuck over there. They funding all type of shit. What type of shit is that? Like, we can't even get government funding for, like, the most simple shit over there. But you know what? Let's not even get into that. Right now, <laughs> shit, got Movies production costs. <laughs> we can only speculate on their motives, but we have a feeling it had something to do with national pride, which was probably wounded after America's disastrous attempt at a Dragon Ball film. Like I said, that shit was sorry. Straight swap. Boy, there's no like other goddamn thing to watch. Swap. What other fucking Dragon Ball movie is there out there? Like make in sure human you, form. Make sure you put that shit on the screen. Swap. Put that shit right there where I pointed at. Swap. Swap. All right, bet. Yeah. What? Number four. Many iconic elements have practical origins. Your bonehead creator picked a fine chapter to omit from your memory banks. Dragon Ball began as a comedy. But plenty of its serious moments had amusing and interesting origins behind the scenes. For instance, the rapid succession of villains and transformations in the Cell Saga were mostly the result of creator Akira Toriyama's editor, Kazuhiko Torishima, expressing dissatisfaction with the character's designs. Move it or lose it, pal! I'm not kidding around now! The androids were considered unintimidating or lame by Torishima, leading to the creation of Cell. Torishima also influenced the villain's transformations into more perfect forms. <laughs> Even something as iconic as the Super Saiyan form had a practical origin, as it didn't require Toriyama or his assistants to color in Goku's black hair with ink, saving time and making him look awesome. Number three episodes looked wildly different depending on the animator. Viewers of Dragon Ball Super have been very vocal recently about the new series' inconsistent animation quality between episodes, but animation differences have always been part of the franchise. Are you see how we just swinging at him and missing and shit? Hell oh, yeah. That shit remind me of goddamn Floyd vs. McGregor. <laughs> I didn't even watch that bullshit, but like, I saw some of it. 
Go right. I'm late, people. It is fucking late. Just doing right to the highlights? You said what? Doing right to the highlights of that shit? It don't matter. I'm gonna do that next. We're gonna do that next. Although the manga the anime is based on was drawn by Akira Toriyama and his assistants, different episodes of the franchise lack that same creative consistency as different animators are used sometimes week to week. One moment, so I got a text. Hold up. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. Get right with you. I'm gonna get right with you. You got to text my girl, then dismiss it. Sorry. Eh? Yeah. I don't know, I do my edit this out anyway. Tell you something, bitch. Alright, let's get it. In backgrounds, and especially characters looking highly detailed one week, and then choppy and blocky the next. Ready to go, Gohan? Uh, yeah. Inconsistency is not the key. Major key of it. I probably should have said that before I said that shit. Major key of it. Always say major key on it before you say the key. Besides the different animators, other factors include budget restrictions and the animators being based on seniority and not on skill. Number two, Dragon Ball takes inspiration from many things. Nothing is truly original, and Dragon Ball had plenty of influences. What? Huh. Are you kidding me? One particularly strange one is the Ain't Dog Chronicles, a 19th century Japanese the fuck is this? Most likely some old shit that probably came out in the 80s or like early 90s. This girl got down choking on a goddamn nut. This nigga will be thinking about some goddamn... I don't know. What the shit? What in which this? featured eight crystal balls that are created when the princess has sex with her father's dog. What? So my mind isn't like... Alright. Eight crystal balls had sex with her father's dog? No, you gotta like probably rewind that or something because like he did not see that shit. Bestiality? Bestiality going on? Yeah, bestiality though. Don't go back a little bit. Most definitely fucking animals. It eight crystal balls that are created when the princess has sex with her father's dog. Upon. So yeah. she created eight crystal balls when she fucked her father's dog. How the fuck is that even possible? Japan. Who even came up with that? Who came Japan. up with that logic? It's funny how I said that sexual shit and this shit went straight sexual after that. Well, you didn't even have to put that shit on the uh, Being born again, the crystals shoot into Hold on, but you say idea, but shit. She said eight crystal balls, goddamn he's not I mean he's seven dra dragon balls. Bro, she like fucked that dog like numerous times. Like what the fuck? She enjoys it. Like, ain't no fucking way you about to fuck a dog one time and be like, alright, I'm fucking through with this shit. <laughs> but then, like, her ass is like, okay, I'm gonna just do this shit a couple more times so I can get some more crystals. So, that's, so instead of having kids, she has fucking crystals. Could be doing that shit with the pinball shop. <laughs> split off just like the Dragon Balls do. There it is. Goku himself had several influences too. While Western audiences have likened him to Superman, Eastern ones are more likely to compare Son Goku with Sun Wukong, the monkey king from the Chinese story, The Journey to the wow. West, since both have tails, extendable staffs, and... I think Goku was gay when he was younger. That's all I'm gonna say. ...in flying clouds. <laughs> Number one, Akira Toriyama forgot some pretty important details. The video went off, man. We back now, man. Let's, get, let's finish reacting to this video. Akira Toriyama forgot some pretty important details. Akira Toriyama, the creator of Dragon Ball, has gone on record as forgetting the intermediate Super Sorry, Saiyan form, Super Saiyan 2, saying in an interview that they once mistook Super Saiyan 3 for the second form. This is yeah, what is known as a Super Because, like, I ain't even gonna lie, like, there's a form, like, before Super Saiyan 2, and I'm like, how is that even Super Saiyan when, like, their hair is still regular? 
But then again, I probably don't even get the whole basis of the Super Saiyan thing. You probably watch really like, every fucking video. I just like watching them and then like drawing them and shit like that. Because, you know, I was real artistic. Still am. I didn't fucking lose my fingers or anything like that. That has ascended past a Super Saiyan! The mangaka also managed to forget an entire character, Launch, who disappears entirely from the portion of the manga that would become the anime Dragon Ball Z. You'd think that when you write and illustrate a story, that you'd be able to remember all of it. However, the life of a manga creator is a very demanding one, requiring tight deadlines, long hours, and intense concentration, so it's understandable if a few things might slip your mind. That guy sounded cool! No! So, which of these facts did you find the most interesting? The f most, the fact I found the most interesting was the fact that goddamn, she fucked the damn dad's dog and got eight balls from that shit. Undoubtedly. Actually, the shit that it was like the inspiration for most of the shit. I didn't even know like he got inspiration from other shit to make that. So, learn something new every day. But it's the end of the video, man. Like, comment, subscribe, man. How about your boy, Willa Beast, man? Hey, love, cry. It's okay to cry. And fuck aunties. I recommend it. This is not yours. Yeah, that's for me to do. That's what Mark says here.